Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. So uh, today I'm going to start a new lesson series. It's around uh, about it's about a uh, A320, A319, and A321 aircraft. So uh, I'm I, I I want to share my knowledge. I mean what I learn when I do my type training. So I want to share with you all guys. And uh, I want to tell one more thing. Uh, actually, uh, this is kind of lesson for you to uh, understand about what is type training and what are the content inside there. So if you want to do type training, uh, like after you get your license or if you want to study uh, aircraft type as an aircraft technician or uh, as a student, so please follow some approved uh, organization and then uh, you can get a good certificate and uh, you can be a certified uh, technician. All right, so uh, uh, I know, and also I want to tell you one more thing. Uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, please hit the bell icon because this is the first video from one series. And after that, uh, I will do step by step. So this is very long series. So every week I'll try to upload one video. So regarding this uh, lessons. Okay, so then uh, we will go to uh, the lesson. Okay, right? Okay, so uh, today is the first lesson and uh, we are going to learn Aircraft General. So uh, under Aircraft General, this is the lesson 1. Okay, so Airbus 319, 320, 321. Alright, Aircraft Dimension. The purpose of this is to know the aircraft dimensions including Airbus 319, 320 and 321 aircraft. So here is the dimensions of A320 aircraft. So you can see this is the lateral wave. So from nose to uh, nose to the tail is around 37.57 meters, and from the wingtips, uh, uh, the length between two wingtips around 34.10 meters. And here is the front view, and here is the top view, and here is the dose height from uh, ground to top. I mean the maximum height is around 11.76 meters. It's from feet is around 38 inches and uh, sorry 38 feet and 8 inches and uh, from uh, ground to the passenger uh, doors the B is the height is around uh, 3.40 uh, meters so you can go through these uh, dimensions right and you can get some roughly idea about it all right so let's go to the a319 aircraft a319 aircraft this is this is uh, uh, the shorter, this is shorter than A320 and A321 aircraft. So, from nose to uh, tail is around uh, 33.84 meters uh, in length. So, you can see uh, the C20 aircraft is around 37.57 meters. So, uh, 319 aircraft is around 33.84. So, it, it means it's a little bit shorter. And this is the lateral view, and you can go through the uh, the, the dimensions and the, this is the top view and this is the door height this is the door height and uh, this is the front view so you can uh, just pause the video and then you can go through if you are interested about dimensions and then we're going to a321 aircraft so this is uh, longer than a320 and a320 a319 aircraft so you can see from nose to uh, tail is around 44.51 meters long and from the width is around 33.91 meters this is the lateral view and this is the front view so and here the door heights door heights are uh, in, in this table they mention the door height so you can go through this uh, door heights and uh, from the dotted lines they have mentioned uh, the cargo doors because these cargo doors are situated in the right side of this fuselage all right so and there's a point point a b d e and g star here is the g star h and i are uh, mid doors at floor level the bulk cargo door is optionally installed all right all right so uh, let's go to the next page so let's see the aircraft structure now we're going to see the aircraft structure so metallic materials used in the aircraft metallic materials used in the aircraft so you can see uh, uh, see uh, this is the wing area and uh, this is the aircraft structure so the wing area spares and the ribs spars and the ribs are made out of 70 10 and 70 50 aluminium alloy and top skin panels bottom skin panels and here the aluminium alloy frames and machines forge landing gear attachments fitting 7010 
and uh, keel beam under the keel beam is sheet and 2024 74 75 and extrusion so you can just go through uh, this uh, picture and the basic aircraft structure is made out of aluminium alloy so the basic aircraft structure is made out of aluminium alloys with stainless steel and titanium alloys in specific area so stainless steel and titanium alloys used for a specific areas but the aircraft structure is made out of mainly made out of aluminium alloy all right so the next one the composite materials used in the aircraft so the composite materials we can see the carbon fiber reinforcement plastic and aramid fiber reinforcement plastic and glass fiber reinforcement plastic right so uh, you can see in the white color is carbon fiber reinforcement plastic and the amber color aramid fiber reinforcement plastic and the glass fiber reinforcement plastic from the green color so you can see the the fin box and the rudder is made out of uh, carbon fiber reinforcement plastics and the leading edge of the uh, vertical stabilizer is made out of glass fiber reinforcement plastic and the tail and tail plane and the elevators is made out of carbon fiber reinforcement plastics and spoilers fab racks fairings everything is made from carbon fiber reinforcement plastic so you can go through this picture and you can get an roughly idea you can get a roughly idea about the materials used to uh, construct the aircraft structure so the composite materials are used for the primary and secondary structure remember composite materials are using for the primary and the secondary structure for the composite materials represents about 15% of the aircraft structural weight so in uh, the total amount is uh, the 15% is represented by the composite materials so the carbon fiber reinforcement plastics is mainly used for the primary structure while is aramid fiber reinforcement plastics and the glass fiber reinforcement plastics are only used for secondary structures all right okay so here is the aircraft drainage aircraft drainage so you can see the cargo compartment this is the aft cargo compartment and the port cargo compartment and the wing tanks over there wing tanks and the center tank center wing tank and these are the drainage points so from the light blue color you can see the remote control water drains remote control water drains over there and the simple water drains from the yellow color or amber color and the pressure drain valves from the red color and the other drain points so the different types of drains are installed in the wings and fuselage of a320 aircraft the 20 aircraft different type of drains are installed in the uh, installing the wing and fuselage so to ensure that the fluid collection points properly drain holes and gaps are provided before applying pre treatments drain holes are drilled when naturally drainage is not an option remote drains are used okay so now the surface pre treatments so this is the aluminum alloy composite materials titanium as you can see through the uh, color right so the corrosion resistance of the structure is obtained through the suitable surface pretreatment of the metallic components okay so aluminum alloys typically a pure aluminum cladding act as the main uh, the major form of protection unsealed chromic acid anodizing is the primary pretreatment used okay all right So now the titanium alloy zinc is sprayed on surfaces that interface with aluminum alloy parts and the remaining titanium alloy surfaces are plain and aluminum coating or sulfuric acid anodizing are both used on titanium fast about the composite materials bare composite materials are used okay all right so now we are going to painting so you can see this picture the painting fuselage external surfaces paint system so uh from the this color i think that uh, yeah the blue color is wash primer plus polyurethane primer plus polyurethane top coat Poly pu means polyurethane and polyurethane top coat this is the polyurethane top coat so the surface prime o prime and top coat at the detail stage epoxy prime right and the fuselage internal surfaces paint system fuselage internal surfaces this is the external surfaces paint system and this is the internal surfaces paint system a uh, this color we can see the category a epoxy prime and in from the this color category c epoxy primer plus polyurethane top coat so the surface prime o prime and top coated at the detail stage epoxy primer so you can go through this picture and see the all aluminum sections of the airplane are primed before the final paint coat 
okay and the paint systems used consist of epoxy primers and polyurethane paint on the inside surfaces and polyurethane primers paint on the exterior surface anti slip paint used in the overwing escape zones overwing exercises using anti slip paints okay all right so this is the no step area no step area so uh, you can see uh, b these are the no step areas and here also have no step area so on the wing and the tail of the aircraft there are no step zones right so because of the horizontal stabilizer is made of carbon fiber it requires protective mats okay so because of uh, the horizontal stabilizer made of carbon fiber it requires protective mats and uh, they have in the aircraft also they have these are the points that shows the no stop area so portion access allowed within this area only but on protective mat users maintenance manual see the maintenance man okay all right so now the jacking points we are going to jacking points so these are the jacking points from the red mark you can see the jacking points in the aircraft so this is the symbol for the jacking point so three jacking points are incorporated in this aircraft to lift the plane okay to lift the plane there are three uh, jacking points so one is in front of the nose landing gear one is in front of the this is the, here is the nose landing gear and this jacking points in front of the nose landing gear and one below each wing outboard of the pilot okay and one below each wing outboard of the pilot here is the pilot and outboard below okay downstairs have uh, uh, below the wing have the jacking points and this is outboard of the pilot okay you can see right so uh, that is the end of uh, the first lesson so we we today we learn about the dimensions and the, the materials and painting jacking points and uh, yeah the jacking points so uh, from uh, the next lesson we will uh, go through more details about the aircraft general and in future i will going to teach uh, i will going to uh, upload the lessons according to the ata chapters uh so uh, you can stick with me and again i want to see uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit the like and if you have any comment just uh, put down here and uh, even if it is a bad comment or even if it is a good comment you can write it down and if you think uh, i have to improve some something else about these videos you can tell me so uh for today lesson is finished so see you in the next uh, lesson have a great day for all of you